Engineers trying to keep the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant under control have hit another snag. They've discovered more than half the thermometers in one of the reactors are not working. An official with Tokyo Electric Power Company says the thermometers are vital for judging whether the reactor is still in a state of cold shutdown. We plan to install new thermometers from the outside so we can monitor the temperature in the pressure vessel. Engineers say they'll install new thermometers by late July. They're preparing by decontaminating the area and learning the installation procedure. EU Energy Commissioner Gunter Oettinger says he wants to work with Japanese leaders to improve the safety of nuclear plants in Europe and Japan. Oettinger said he plans to share the results of stress tests on European nuclear plants. Engineers are conducting tests on all nuclear plants in the EU. They're checking the safety of the plants in light of the Fukushima nuclear accident. Oettinger said he expects the results as early as October. He said he plans to share the information with Japanese leaders to help them improve the safety of nuclear plants in Japan. To compare what is feasible in a technical manner and what is feasible in a legal dimension and to come to uh, highest standards and best legal solutions is our common interest. Oettinger said only the Japanese can decide whether to abandon nuclear power generation in their country. Now, staff at Japan's Environment Ministry showed up to work Friday dressed more casually than usual. They're marking the start of the second annual Super Cool Biz campaign. Workers are encouraged to ditch suits and dress shoes in favor of t-shirts and sandals. That allows offices to save on air conditioning and reduce the strain on the country's energy supply. Super Cool Biz is an enhanced version of the annual Cool Biz campaign, which started May 1st. For the past month, the government has encouraged office workers to shed their neckties. Now it's asking them to take off even more. Environment Ministry personnel went to work Friday in Aloha shirts, jeans and sneakers. Japan's cabinet ministers also took part in an effort to encourage the public. They attended a meeting wearing traditional shirts from Okinawa. We want people to wear cool clothing as much as possible, both at work and play. We ask that everyone do their part. The Super Cool Biz campaign will run through the end of September.
company is trying to keep the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant under control have hit another snag. They've discovered more than half the thermometers in one of the reactors are not working. An official with Tokyo Electric Power Company says the thermometers are vital for judging whether the reactor is still in a state of cold shutdown. We plan to install new thermometers from the outside so we can monitor the temperature in the pressure vessel. Engineers say they'll install new thermometers by late July. They're preparing by decontaminating the area and learning the installation procedure.